Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is Dell Optiplex Mini 3080, one of the decent mini factor PC from Dell. This one comes with Core i5 10 generation processor and DDR4 8 gig RAM, and also it does have NVMe Mini SSD 480 gig. But today, to get the best performance, we're gonna upgrade the RAM plus the additional storage. So for this machine, if you do have DDR4, 16 gig would be absolutely fine because it does have dual slot for the RAM stick, which is DDR4. And also it does have secondary storage, which is 2.5 inch SATA, okay? So first of all, what are you gonna do? We're gonna open this up and install both of them, all right? You can choose whatever you want, any capacity. So to open this up, what we need is first, we need to open up this screw, which is right here. You can use flat opening tool or let's say Phillips screwdriver, whatever you like. Okay, so I'm gonna use the flat opening tool and it's not gonna come all the way out, but you can feel the loose and once it loose, then it's ready to go. Okay. I believe that much enough. Now, what are you gonna do? We're gonna slide it back. Slide it back towards me, so it's gonna come out the top panel like that. Okay. So from here, as you can see, uh, there is the slot 2.5 inch set hard drive, and underneath we can see the mini NVMe 480 gig. Let's take this out and check what is underneath. And also I can see there is the Wi-Fi module right there. So this is the NVMe and this is the Wi-Fi module. That is the fan. And plus underneath the fan, we're gonna find the dual channel DDR4 RAM slot. So you need to clip both buckle to take this out, but be careful about the fan connector because right here, and that is little bit, you know, hooked up like anchor, so make sure you release before you pull this fan panel out. There you go, as you can see. Now there is already one pre-installed, but I wanna keep the same, you know, both of them from Crucial 8816. Even if you wanna keep one, the old one you can. Make sure there is no power source before you try. And be careful about the anti-static electricity. All right. So just put it like that, push it down and it's gonna make a click noise and that's all. Now this is ready, we can put back the fan. and make sure you clip the cable. Now this caddy would take 2.5 inch other SATA hard drive or SATA SSD, whatever you like, regardless any size, one TB, two TB, or let's say 128 gig as you wish. As you can see, I'm using Kingston right here. And it's gonna go that way. Make sure you check the alignment before you clip this in and then it's gonna go back to the place. And if you would like to know how to reinstall Windows on it, either 10 or 11, you can check the video link would be in the description. And please, if you do like this video, if you think this is helpful, then I would request you, make sure you do share, like, and subscribe. So this is ready to go. We're gonna put it right here. So the SSD has installed correctly. Now we're gonna close it back with the top cover and tighten the screw. Now this is physically ready and fully upgraded. I'm gonna get double performance. Also I do have the secondary storage for additional data and stuff like that. Still, if you do have any question, please feel free to leave it in the comment section because I always do enjoy to reply as much as possible that any comments left over. And please subscribe again. 
I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.